as you can see I've torn apart or at least opened up this one tech um, 30 volt 5 amp power supply. Now this is also sold as an even tech E V E N T E K. The reason I've opened it up and this is as, as far as I can go because these four wires power to the switch and power from the switch to the, are not plugged in on either end of the wires. Now these two are but I would have to take out either the switch or the IEC connector and they both are removed through the panel. I can't do that. The reason I've got it apart is because I want to put a load switch. I want to switch the, these two terminals off on and I want to short them. Uh, that way I can set the voltage and the constant current uh, or the current limiting before the load is powered up. To do that I've got a uh, you could do this with a single pole switch. I happen to have a, a double pole double throw switch. Uh, it's, that means it's center off and the center terminal and this end terminal are turned on at this time off, throwing it this way, turns on the center terminal and this end terminal. I intend to hook the red lead. I'm going to short these two terminals together and connect the red lead to the center. power lead from the power supply that uh, I've got disconnected here. I'll hook the red lead here and then carry a short piece of red lead from here to the positive terminal of the load. Then I'll parallel these two and run a wire black preferably to this terminal. That way the red wire is either not connected to anything connected via short red wire to the here or the red wire will be connected to here and there'll be a short black wire connected to here. So this position now effectively shorts out the power supply. This turns off the power supply from the load terminal. And this turns on the power supply to the load terminal. It looks as if I can just squeeze that switch in here. That will put the switch, the toggle end of the switch, right here. I'll try to make a label here, here. I don't know where I can put an off label. I've got the switch installed. And you may say, well, why did you put the red wire here when the terminal's here? And why did you put the black wire here when the terminal's are there? Well, think about how a toggle switch works. Right now, the switch is 
in this position, which I should make this on and this off. And I'll just try to find out if that's true. While I was putzing around here, I noticed these three little tiny holes drilled in what appears to be a circuit board trace that connects both ends of this shunt resistor. And these two holes here and opposite I think those are the way that they trimmed the value of the resistance between here and here. I've seen them notch a piece of this to narrow the cross section. I think you would say, well, that's a short across there, but it's not. It represents some value of resistance, it's just as a piece of wire is normally considered a short, but it, it does represent some resistance. And I think in this case, rather than trim the, the volume or the cross-section area of this, they've just reduced the cross-section area. Oh, I see there are actually holes, not very much, here too narrowing the cross-sectional area of this circuit board trace. Here's the power supply with the load switch turned on. And you can see it's uh, uh, both meters say 12.3. Here's the load switch turned off. So I can adjust the voltage without uh, having the load hooked up. Now if I want to see what the current set is, I don't need to short the leads. I can just do this. And I see it's shorted out at uh, 1.95 amp. Load off. Load shorted. So it's a nice little modification I need, as I said before, to put some labels up on here. And it would be nice if there was room to put a light. You know, I know the power supply is turned on. Well, it's, there we go. So when I build a project, I don't bother to put a light on if it has a digital display. But I could easily think this load was powered when in fact it's not. So it would be nice to have a little LED that uh, comes on. And I may find room for one here. If you want to see any switching characteristics, you know, how this turns on, on the oscilloscope, drop me a line and I, uh, I'll get around to doing that. I mean, leave me a comment. Alright, for those viewers with a dirty mind. These things are actually... a holder for the straw that you get on your carburetor cleaner. This is uh, electronic cleaner. The intention being that you'll take the straw and insert it in this little tiny hole in the end. 
something like that. Then you insert this, yeah, I know what you were thinking, over the can and insert the straw into the I've used this once before. I had no idea what these were until one of the girls in the work showed me them. I ordered them and they remained lost on my workbench for probably a year and a half. If you've enjoyed this, thank you for sticking around. Drop me a line. Uh, subscribe. Thank you.